If you're using the gradient tool and you want an easy way to transition it from color to transparency, then you're gonna love the tips in this tutorial. Let's get started. What's happening guys? My name is Brandon from BeWillCreative.com and on this channel we love to talk about Photoshop and photo editing tips. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Now in this tutorial we're going to talk all about transparent gradients and how to do them in a bunch of different scenarios. We're going to first talk about how to create a regular gradient transitioning from color to transparency. We're then going to talk about how to use these gradients with layer masks and finally we'll talk about using transparent gradients to fade the edges of your layer or your images. So let's hop into Photoshop and see how it's done. So now that we're here in Photoshop, the first thing that we need to do is obviously grab our gradient tool. That can be accessed here in the toolbar or you can press G on your keyboard. Now by default, most of the gradients are gonna transition from one color to another color. So how do we change that to transition from a solid color to transparency? That's where the gradient editor comes into play. While your gradient tool is selected, up in your settings bar at the top of your window, you'll see this little box here, which is a preview of your gradient. This is your gradient editor. If you click on this, a dialog box will appear where you have a whole bunch of options to choose from preset gradients or you can create your own. Now, if you're new to the gradient tool, then make sure to check out my complete guide to the gradient tool so you understand all of this stuff completely. Because in this tutorial, we're only talking about transparent gradients. So if you wanna know everything about gradients, make sure to check out that other tutorial linked down below. Anyways, since in this case, we only want to access our transparent gradient, we can find that under the basics tab and then we'll click this middle one right here, which is called the foreground to transparent gradient. The reason it's called foreground to transparent is because it samples our foreground color and transitions it to transparency represented by this checkerboard here. Now you might be tempted to adjust this color here in the gradient editor, but you can do it differently in a much easier way that I'm gonna show you how to do. So for now, you select your foreground to transparent gradient, click okay, and now we wanna adjust that color of our gradient. Since you know that this gradient is coming from the foreground color, we can click on that foreground color and pick a different color for our transparent gradient. In this case, I'll just select a nice blue color here and I'll click OK. Now you can see that the transparent gradient in our gradient editor matches the color of our foreground color. So now let's actually go and create this transparent gradient. I'm gonna create a new layer just so we can edit non-destructively. And now I'm gonna select the gradient type I want. In this case, I'll just select linear gradient so it's just gonna be a line that transitions from color to transparency. You can experiment with different options, but just for this example, I'll stick with the linear gradient. Make sure your mode is set to normal and your opacity is set to 100%. Lastly, make sure dither is checked off and of course transparency is checked off so then you don't have a solid colored gradient. With all of that stuff in place, we're going to make sure our new layer is selected and I'm going to click and drag out to create my foreground to transparent gradient. And just like that, the gradient is applied onto the image. We can turn it on and off because it's on its own layer and everything is good to go. Now, if you just wanted to add a little bit of color to your photo, then your job is done here. But there's even more fun things that you can do with this tool. So now let's say you've created this gradient and you wanna change the color of it. Now you can't actually go into your gradient editor and adjust the color or you can't change the foreground color because the gradient is already applied. So how do you adjust a gradient that already exists. Well, the easiest way to do that is with a color overlay via the layer styles dialog box. To access the layer style dialog box, double click on your gradient layer and a new dialog box will appear here with a whole bunch of unique options for your layer. In this case, since we want to change the color, we're gonna select the color overlay option down here. We'll just click on that. And now we have a few simple options here. We'll just leave our blend mode to normal. And most importantly, since we wanna change the color, We'll click on that. Now I can go through and adjust the color to anything I'd like. And as you see, the color of our gradient instantly changes as we adjust the color with our color picker. So let's just go for like a bright red or orangey color here and click OK. I can also change the opacity of this overlay so it changes the strength transitioning from our original all the way up to our full on color overlay. In this case, I'll just leave it at 100%, but it's worthwhile to know that option. Once you're happy, click OK. And as you see now at our gradient layer, we have an effects option with the color overlay. You can press that eyeball to turn the adjustment on and off, and you can even double click on color overlay to reopen that layer style option and make any other adjustments that you need to. Now this is a super easy way to change the color of a gradient, and it's one of my favorite ways to go about it because it's quick, easy, and it gets the job done. 
done. So now that you know the basics of creating transparent gradients in Photoshop, let's go and apply these same methods onto a layer mask. Now when you're using foreground to transparent gradients on a layer mask, you can create transparency on an image. So it's really fun if you want to have an image fade out or something like that. So first of all, with my image layer selected, I'm going to add a layer mask like so. I'm going to once again grab my gradient tool, make sure that my foreground to transparent gradient is selected, and I'll click OK. In the world of layer masks, white is 100% visible and black is 100% transparent. And since we want to make part of this image transparent, I'm going to switch my foreground color to black. Now with your layer mask selected and your foreground to transparent gradient chosen, all you have to do is click and drag out to apply that gradient onto your layer mask. And since we're using a black to transparent gradient, that's going to apply that black onto the layer mask and make part of that image invisible. So now we've used a transparent gradient to turn half of our image transparent. This is a really cool feature if you want to fade out parts of your image or something like that. Just remember that when you do export this image, you have to export it as a PNG file or else none of that transparency will be remembered. Now for the last example, I'm gonna show you an easy way to fade all of the edges of your photo at once. So starting back at normal here, I'm going to first create a new color fill layer. I'm gonna do that by going up to layer, new fill layer, and solid color. I'm going to just leave it as color fill one and click OK. Now I can go ahead and pick any color I'd like. Don't get hung up on this. You can change this later if need be. But for now, I'm just going to pick a blue color since we're on that theme today. Now I'm going to drag this layer underneath my image layer and that's going to serve as the background color to our faded image. So now clicking on this layer zero, I wanna make the whole thing transparent and so I can add parts of it back with a transparent gradient effect. That might sound a little bit confusing, but hold with me here, it's super easy to do. Once again, I'm gonna click on that image layer and I'm gonna add a layer mask. This time I wanna make everything transparent, so I'm gonna click on that layer mask and press Command or Control I to invert that layer mask, make it black, and now everything is transparent. I'm gonna grab my gradient tool, and this time I wanna make kind of a circle transparent effect, so my image is just going to fade in the middle as a little circle. So I'm going to select my radial gradient here, make sure my foreground transparent gradient is selected, and I'm going to switch my foreground color to white so that I'm making parts of my layer visible again since we're using a black layer mask. With all of that set up, I'm going to click and drag out to make parts of my layer visible again, and since we're painting a white to transparent gradient, it's only going to make that middle section visible when you're using the radial gradient. I can go over that a few different times to make it a little bit more visible, and it's going to improve our effect. Now, as you can see we have a faded outline of our whole image and we have blue as the background because that's the color fill layer. You could turn that off if you just wanted a transparent background or you can double click on the color here to adjust it to whatever you'd like after the fact. That's what makes the color fill layer so useful. So that was three different ways that you can use the transparent gradient in Photoshop to create some really awesome effects. The transparent gradient is super easy to use, but it's kind of hidden within the basics folder of your gradient editor. Once you select that foreground of transparent gradient, however, you're ready to go and you can pretty much create anything you'd like. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you for today. Again, my name is Brendan from bewillcreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time. See you then.